there are some women that when they date a black man, they have a certain level of expectation or a certain standard. However, whenever they date the white man, and I'm talking about black women, for some reason, when you date the white guy, and I do have a video coming up on it, and it's called the black wife effect. But for some reason, you're okay with dating a dusty white guy and helping him level up. But you're not okay with dating a black man that is working on himself and helping him level up. A lot of black women expect black men to be ready made and that's the community. For some reason, black women get to comment as to why successful black men date outside of the race. Okay, first off, we need to stop just putting all this on black women this, black women that, and black women this. Because this is across the board. I'm sorry. Ain't nobody dating the black brush driver. I don't care if she's Asian, she's Hispanic, she's black, she's white. Nobody's dating the black bus driver. When it comes to dating as a black man, we have we're held at a higher standard than everybody else. That is just the name of the game. You don't want to believe it. There's data, numbers, statistics proving exactly that. Do I fault anybody for it? No, I don't. It is what it is. That's a from an objective standpoint, it makes sense. I'm not saying that. However, when I look at it from a moral standpoint, no, nah, that it's it's trash considering we went through a lot of the same things that so-called other individuals have been fighting for when it comes to equality. But what does really annoy me is the fact that when you do have these professional black men who make themselves something and do this and do that and do this, and they have requirements and standards, everybody gets offended by it. Everybody gets offended because this black man is not a liberal guy gets offended when he doesn't want to put up with the nuances of whatever you got going on there was a meme that went around that still goes around for a, that's been going around for a few years where a girl a guy asked this girl and said hey do you date struggling men and she said no for various reasons and he looked at her and said do you realize you're the struggling man to me so a lot of y'all need to humble yourselves in that regard too because you don't want to deal with us during our struggling points but at the same token, expect us to deal with your struggling moments. So don't put that onus all on black women. But I will say this is something that is particular to black women. And it really has nothing to do with dating. It has more so to do with not being able to find the man you're looking for. Typically, y'all can't find the man y'all looking for. is because of the company you keep. Whether it's your abusive mom, abusive friends, etc. and so forth. Something that's particular to y'all that is not particular to other groups of individual is they upgrade their circle when they start leveling up. Leveling up. And that's not to say you have to disrespect people, you have to harm people, you have to look down upon them. But you still can't be hanging with the girl who want to go out drinking every night, who does drugs, who wants to smoke weed every day, who's always in a fight, always arguing, always being obnoxious, and expect to get a certain type of man that you're looking for. That's just what it is, because the circles and the networks he hang around will look down upon him or cut ties with him if you start acting ignorant. So that's all I really got to say about that. Stop putting all the onus on black women, because all y'all do the same shit, just different ways.